So, what exactly is a vocoder and how can I use Fruity Vocoder in FL Studio? Well, to be put very simply, a vocoder works this way. You have two sources of audio. Your first source is called the modulator. The second source is called the carrier. Let me give you an example of what this sounds like. So now that you know what I'm talking about, I'm going to show you how you can achieve this same effect in FL Studio. Here we are in Fruity Loops. So the first thing we're going to do is load up a Fruity Vocoder in Mixer Channel 3. So let's go there. Fruity Vocoder. So there's our vocoder. Let's name our channel here. Vocode. Now my voice is acting as the modulator, so we'll call later. As you can see, I have my microphone set to the input there. Uh, last thing we're going to need is a carrier signal. So we'll want something uh, resonant. So we'll just do a saw patcher. That's good. So we'll set that to my carrier channel. Now, the trick here that most people might get messed up at is a two-step thing to make the vocoder work. For the first step, you have to route both the carrier and modulator channel to the vocode. After that, move the carrier to the right pan position and the modulator all the way to the left pan position. Then, when you want to use the vocoder, play some notes on your keyboard and while the notes are down, uh, talk into the microphone. So, I'm going to show you how that sounds. So pretty much this is what it sounds like. By pressing different keys, you can get different tones. You can play chords as well. If you hold down all three keys, so pretty much that's how you use a vocoder. If you want to change how it sounds, you can change the oscillators that it's using. For example, you can use square. Uh, so pretty much that's how you use a vocoder. So yeah, there you have it. So just play around with vocoder and your carrier patch, and I hope you have fun.